Vroom, 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 vroom. Hello, everyone. Look at this thing. This is Slammed Car. It's by Juno. Junichi... Oh, I'm not even going to try to say it. I'm sorry. He goes by Juno, so I'm going to call him Juno. Um, this was a design that won the 2019 Grand Jury Prize at the uh, International Puzzle Party. Juno's version is made of wood, but Gerard Hudson got permission to make a 3D printed version. And it's my understanding that the solve is exactly the same. He reverse engineered it, um, all the right dimensions, and uh, it's basically the same as the wooden version, but 3D printed. It looks awesome. Gerard Hudson is the mastermind behind the uh, the Turtle Trip puzzle, which is another 3D printed puzzle that he designed himself. Um, and this will be my first Juno puzzle. I'm super excited about it. Don't know what else to say about it. It looks awesome. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to start solving. Let me, oh, I don't have my timer ready. Timer, boom, got it. Okay, so I will say there's two things that I do already know about this puzzle. One of which is it's been sitting on my desk for a while and my wife came in and just pulled out, I think it was this one, yeah. So I know I, I know this happens. Um, so this comes out. And the only other thing I know is a lot of people, when they were talking about the solve, they loved it. But I've, I've seen a few people say that they did not love the last step of the solve. And I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's difficult, if it's, I don't know. I just know that it wasn't some people's favorite. Maybe it'll be mine. Um, I also don't know what the objective even is. I guess it's to just open it up, get to the inside. I have no idea. Um, does this one come out? No. I love that the wheels actually work. And it looks like this will eventually slide off the back. Oh, this is like spring loaded or something right here. That's kind of cool. Okay. Doors will not open. License plate looks like we will eventually be able to push that in maybe. Um, can I use this anywhere? So it had a magnet holding it in place. I can see something on the bottom of this. I don't know if I can move it. So it was in like that, held by a magnet. Can I use this to... I'm so scared of doing anything too rough. Yeah, this is, I think this little piece, you probably can't see that. It feels like it's, I, I'm moving it and it's like spring loaded. It's doing something. Oh, ha. When I push, when I kind of lever it this way, I'm pushing this internal piece downward. And now the license plate goes in. Um, don't know what that does for me though. Oh. Pushed it all the way in, and what happened? Did anything happen? Something must have happened. Oh, I can push that in now, regardless of... Huh. I swear I couldn't push it in earlier. Oh, maybe the wheel moved when I did this once, but maybe not. So what do I do with this? like two stages here you can hear kind of like a click right here it's kind of stops and then there's a second phase what 
what's it doing though? Wheel locks. That's not wheel turns. We'll go to phase one, wheel turns, phase two, wheel stops. And if I turn it, it actually pushes it back up. So this is engaging the axle at some point. Oh, what did I do? Am I in further than I was before? Maybe not. I don't know what I just did, but the hood popped open and all these pieces came out. Okay, so what do we have? We have the hood, which is on a hinge. We have this wrench now. This, we've got this little contraption here. This is like the, oh, that comes out. Okay. So, okay, I can see this mirror goes across, obviously, and I can kind of see as I wiggle it, there's a piece that comes down here that's moving, obviously. Can't tell what I'm going to do with that yet. This, this piece here kind of intersects that mirror. So if I could move this out of the way, I could potentially get the mirror out. <laughs> I heard it do something. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. So that allowed me to get that mirror off. You can see this doesn't exactly look like, well, I guess it does kind of look like a nut now that I look at it more in the light. So I was able to turn that down this way. Yep, and it moved this whole piece, which is spring-loaded somewhere. Um, so doing that, maybe you can see that. Yeah, so that released ooh, the mirror. What is the point of that? I guess that's the battery. I don't know how it took me that long to realize that that's the battery, but... This is the channel that the battery was sitting in. Looks like it clearly goes further down beyond that. So... I was just thinking maybe there was something behind it. The battery was just keeping it in place. A little nervous to put one of these pieces back there, but might try it. There goes my wrench. Let me go get that. That's not, I don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes I impress myself with how much I can overlook. You know, I was trying to get these mirrors down through here, but I can just slide them underneath. Don't know if I want to, but here I am doing it. Oh, felt to go back. Let's do this one too. I 
Fortnite. Ha 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 ha. So now that that comes out this way, and I assume a magnet held it in place. Yep, there's a magnet. This. Oh, it moved, I felt like it moved farther now that something's happening here. Now that the license plate's gone, maybe that moves further down? I don't know. I'm not using much force, but I feel like I'm about to use too much force. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, I'm a fool. I've been pulling it down like this. I just pulled it here, and these two pieces separated. Does this... Oh my gosh. What a jabroni. Giant springs attached to this one. There's a slot here. That was not part of this. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Look at this. Can I get this out? Yep. Ha! That is remarkable. These two pens that just... That is amazing. All right. Oh, so this door does something. Or this door, this wheel. You can see this axle. Also has this uh, little nub on it that's allowing this piece to go up and down. Now when I turn that upside down, that piece just falls. So it's not spring-loaded. Uh, this is all one piece. Silly. Silly, silly, silly. Oh, oh, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here. Of course. Let's push this lever down on this side. And let's push this in. What is this going to do? Yep, there's a spring in here. And again, push this out. That, oh, that, that moves a little bit. If I push this up. Does it still move? Yep. I didn't move before. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't move hardly at all until I push this in. So on the right side of this, there's like a gold piece. Did I just move it? I think I did. I think I'm sliding the right side of this this way. But what does that do for me? I can still make this piece go up. I thought because I pushed this over it would be blocked. It does seem like it has more resistance now. Can I use one of these other pieces to push that over? Maybe if I use this and then slide it over. Let's try it. So that's now down. Can this? Oh, I can. 
If it can, it can, it can. So that slides over. This is tough. I wish I had something I could like wedge in here so I don't have to keep my hand in there. I noticed something like 20 minutes ago. Yep. Okay. So I can push this over and it kind of locks in place. And then I can't turn the wheel at all. There we go. It's all done. Now I can turn the wheel and this piece very easily goes up and down. There's no resistance. If I push this most of the way over, I went too far already. Uh, if I push it some of the way over, the wheel can still turn, but there's resistance. So I have to keep pressure this way, or at least down on this lid. So if I let go, it snaps back down. So it's kind of a nuisance. I have to keep it there with one hand. I have to hold this with one hand, do this thing, and then somehow turn the wheel. So I guess I could just put it on the ground and roll it. Let's try that. Oh, did I go too far? I went too far. There we go. Let's try this again. Don't push it too far. This is this is silly. Nothing's happening. How do I hold this in place and turn the wheel? <gasps> that did it. So this, I don't want, I don't want to open it all the way just yet. Oh, that just pushed that over. Ha! I hate it. That's so genius. Look at that. And that could pull out. <gasps> and then, okay. Ha! I'll look at that in a second. Look at this. It's a turtle. I kind of wish it wasn't in the little baggie, but I imagine it's there for a reason. Does that say Juno? Yep, we got the word Juno in there. I kind of wish there was a... Uh, I mean, the turtle's in there, so that's a calling card for Gerard. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest little turtle I've ever seen. Woo! To anyone who said they didn't like the last step, you're wrong. It was a difficult step, but uh, that is amazing. Wow. This was absolutely phenomenal this is a new favorite I don't know what else to say look at all these pieces that came off um, just fantastic and to end with the the turtle that's a nice touch so a little bit under two hours Two solid hours like I felt like you know I had certainly had moments where I was stumbling or didn't know what to do but there was lots of time where I felt like I was onto something or actually making progress really well done kind of unbelievable 
fantastic puzzle. I'm going to... I guess I'll put it back together. Surprisingly quick reset for how long it took me to get it apart. Whew. I don't know what puzzle we'll do next time. It's going to be a tough follow up to this guy, but I'm sure it'll be something awesome. Um, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>